All who are thirsty, come to the waters, says the Lord. Though you have no money, come and drink with joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. Dearest brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me back to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district down upon the Araba and empties into the sea the salt waters which make it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow, their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, the Lord of hosts, hosts is, is with us, us the stronghold, stronghold of the God, God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength and ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts is, is with us, us. our God stronghold is the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. There is a stream 
whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the outstanding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart, create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, Lord. Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is, there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos and this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him laying there and he and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. When I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is this man who told you, Take up your, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus, because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Abundant morning blessings, dearest brothers and sisters. We joyfully um, pray this Holy Mass with you this morning. And this is truly a, um, an ongoing effort of love on all of our parts to find a way to, to remain connected, to remain as, uh, as family, prayer-filled, and uh, eager to to pray together and praying for an end uh, to this uh, this time of crisis and this scourge our readings this morning are somewhat long and complex but there are elements in holy scripture that very much pertain to us in our day and in our time it is interesting to remember that um, that the pool, the healing pool at Bethesda, the man speaks of, of the water being stirred up. 
and we sometimes think that maybe that meant that somebody was there with a stick or or putting people in was causing the water to stir up. In reality, in the history of that pool, whether uh, by whatever miraculous means that it occurred, spontaneously there would be uh, a movement in the, in the pool that would cause the water to ripple. And the people would then know that the Holy Spirit or that God had come upon the water and as, when they would see the water move, then there would be this great rush to get into the water. So it had nothing to do with, with human effort or the human ability to stir up the water. It was purely uh, a divine event that the water would, would begin to move and the people would rush to the water for healing. So living, moving water. What is curious, though, about our gospel is that this man who had been ill for 38 years, Jesus asked him a very direct question, and the answer should very well have been yes or no. He said, do you want to be well? And the answer should have been, yes, I do, I want to be well, or no, I'm not interested in being healed. But instead, he launches into this long and somewhat arduous um, discussion of, of what was preventing him from being well. And, and it was seemingly something external to himself. There was always a reason, some, some, some thing. There was no one to get me to the pool or the... There was already people there. There was, and for 38 years, this man had been um, caught up in these possibly very reasonable, but still excuses as to how he he never made it to the healing waters. And yet, our Lord asks him not why didn't you get to the pool or how come you couldn't get there. He asked him the very important question: Do you want to be healed? And that same question is asked to us, whether it's carrying a sin burden or a physical ailment or a spiritual ailment, all of whatever it is that burdens us and weighs us down in life. Our Lord asks us that simple question, do you want to be healed? And it's at that point where instead of launching into a long and arduous discussion of, of what our excuse might be as to why we've gone years and years and years without asking for healing or being unable to get to the source of healing. Our answer, he's asking us from the heart, depths of our hearts to say, yes, yes, I want to be healed. Because that's when the Lord is going to rush to us and give us healing. Thanks be to God, the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. He listened to this man give his pitiful excuse. And yet he still said, be healed. Rise, take up your mat and be healed. And there's so much more in the gospel that we could talk about. But that today is, is I think, our theme, what we most concentrate on. Because it would be very easy in our day to make up any number of excuses about why we're abandoning our faith, losing our faith, doubting God, on and on and on and on. And yet, the Lord asks us that same question, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be freed of your anxieties? Do you want me to help you in your unbelief? And our answer must be, yes, Lord, yes, beyond a shadow of a doubt, with no excuses, with nothing to hold me back, and not relying on the weakness or the minimal strength of others, but on you, Lord, relying on you. Yes, Lord, yes. You are the one who can heal me. You will heal me, and I desire it. I desire it to the depth of my heart. And if the Old Testament reading wasn't long and complicated enough, just see the water flowing from underneath the foundations, the flowing water 
flowing out, getting deeper and deeper and faster and faster. That is the pouring out of the mercy of the Lord. It is so deep, it is beyond our comprehension. So as we pray the rest of this Holy Mass together, no more excuses. If we're burdened with sin, get rid of it. If we're laden with anxiety, if we're laden with worries, if our faith is weak, our Lord is there asking us, do you want me to take this from you or not? No more excuses, yes or no. The Lord either is or he isn't. And I promise that he is. Praise be Jesus Christ. So with greatest humility and tremendous confidence, we offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For the Church, may God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord grant them wisdom in protecting all in their care, especially the most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those with chronic illnesses, may Christ the healer bring them physical and spiritual healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, that during this journey of Lent, we may grow in charity and love through the graces of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, remembering especially Tom Brandel, and all who have died in the light of faith, may they receive a place at the heavenly banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we continually know that you bring order out of chaos. Bring order to our lives. Listen to our prayers. Answer them in your will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator for this our mortal life 
and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At 
the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. And let us acknowledge to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Dearest brothers and sisters, we remain separated physically, but we can never be separated spiritually. And the same is true for our Holy Communion. And so now we pray a spiritual communion for all of us gathered for this Holy Mass.
my Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things. I love, I love you above, above all things. things. And I long for you in my soul. And I long and for you in my soul. soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, since, since I, I cannot, cannot re now receive you sacramentally, sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come. As and though as you have already come. come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. I embrace, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people will remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.